Hey guys, it is far past my bedtime. I was just watching um, something on YouTube by someone who I've never seen before. Some pretty Asian Australian girl and it totally reminded me of something I've been wanting to do. Um, I'll put a link in the side. Do you guys have stuff that you just, you don't use? but you keep it and you move and you move it from place to place to place for no reason. Do you guys have like clutter issues or is there some things, toys, keepsakes, that you just can't get rid of uh, for whatever reason? Even if it's kind of broken and doesn't work anymore. I was looking around and uh, I have stuff from when I was a kid. I have moved continents. I lived in the UK, then I moved back to Canada, then I moved back to the UK, then I went to France, then I went back to the UK, then I came back to Canada. I lived in Kelowna, then I went to Edmonton and lived in a little tiny apartment and then we moved back to Kelowna and then we bought a place. And this stuff has traveled with me since I was little, a lot of it. So I'm just wondering if you guys have the same issues. What are some of the things that you just can't bring yourself to throw away? or that you just haven't. So I was going through some of my stuff. Okay, everyone knows who that is? That's Curious George. Now, he used to wind up and make noise. That sound, like hearing that, I could be maybe two and a half, and that's my first first memories so George he's a keeper he doesn't work anymore I wonder if I can fix him um, the little music box inside doesn't work I gotta wind it backwards to make it do that but he's one of those things I can't get rid of I don't know my kids play with them this guy possibly one of my first toys ever pretty sure I got him in England I moved to Canada when I was two um, He's in all my earliest photographs. I don't know what his name is. I'm sure he had a name. Um, and I'm sure it was like kids always do, simply obvious. Um, got a hard face. I'm sure it was something stupid and related to that. Hi, hard face. I love you, hard face. Ah, it's hard face. Look at that. Hi. He always kind of creeped me out, though. He's just kind of got these hollow eyes. Anyway, um, so I can't get rid of him. Now, those ones make sense because there's emotional attachment, there's sentimental value. I mean, those are your best friends were when you're a kid, right? Um, you have whole adventures with these teddy bears. Hence, you know, Curious George TV shows and, and Winnie the Pooh and... Calvin and Hobbes. You know what I'm talking about here. Calvin and Hobbes rocks, doesn't he? This, though. Does anyone remember this thing? He bought it at... <laughs> Panini. It makes me hungry. That's not cool. And it was... It was a sticker book. And, you know, I was maybe grade four. I have no idea why I still have this. It's worth nothing we weren't really hockey people I just I had it to to be cool like all the other kids and and you're always excited to get like the action figure the action sticker or one of the foil ones like the trophies come on you Canadians have got to remember this thing tell me if you remember this um, and then hockey cards Again, I really wasn't a hockey card guy. But, come on. Who doesn't remember Poon Dude from uh, New York? Like, I don't know, what year is this? 80, 86, 87 was is the last date on these cards. Most of my cards are old peachy and worth nothing. Daryl Stutter, he was like my favorite guy. I have no idea why. 
someone must have said something about them. So I got all these hockey cards, and they're kind of cool. And here we go. Here we go. What's this? Where'd it go? Oh. I was gonna. Where'd they go? There we go. You guys see what these are? Sorry. I'll do it this way. You remember these things? I thought these were the bomb, man. Like, I must have been 10 or 11. What were these things even called? I don't even remember what these were called. All I can think is Garbage Pail Kids, but these weren't. These were something else. Scary Lee. <laughs> Matchbox. Come on, we all did that to our cars with hammers, made accidents, got busted by our parents. That's awesome. I have no idea why I still have this stuff. You guys, what, what do you guys have that you really should have gotten rid of a long time ago? Tell me. Uh, do a video thing below. Just tell me. Um, anyone know what that is? Who had an Intellivision? Come on, what was your favorite Intellivision game? I was I was a poor kid. I I got given an Intellivision. Couldn't afford an Atari. I know. Hey man, my dad was a preacher. There wasn't a lot of money in that. But I had a really good childhood. And you know what? Maybe that's why I keep some of this stuff. Because a lot of my friends had everything they wanted. And I really valued the things I had. I mean, I think in part it makes me not want to chuck things away. Because cause we just didn't have a lot. Um, and that's why my place is cluttered but I'm gonna blame it on that I'm gonna blame it on my parents isn't that what we're supposed to do oh, careful. but tell me I'm just curious so I'm gonna upload this now I know really it doesn't belong on on the FTD raw channel uh, but you guys sub me so tell me you know I can um, maybe I'll throw it on full-time dad as well and then link over and We'll start the weird stuff back over on full-time dad and keep uh, FTD raw about the weight loss. But hey, if you guys, you know, you guys want to engage, engage. Just curious. You guys rock. Have a great day. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me below what you have in your house that should have been thrown away years ago, but you just can't throw it away. I'm curious. All right. Bye.